a resilient, layered space-based architecture is well suited to missile warning systems. While the GEO-based space-based infrared system continues to serve U.S. missile warning needs, emerging threats and an increasingly contested space environment may benefit from a layered architecture in multiple orbits. There are several major trends today in space-based early warning slash missile warning. The first is the ongoing effort to modernize the space-based infrared system, SPURS. Earlier this year, U.S. Space Force launched the fifth SPURS satellite into geosynchronous Earth orbit, GEO. The Defense Department's next step is development of a missile warning architecture that is layered among low Earth orbit, LEO, and medium Earth orbit, MEO, orbits in order to complement SPURS in the forthcoming next-generation overhead persistent infrared payloads in GEO and polar orbit. Such a multi-orbital, layered architecture, which is also applicable to various other space-based capabilities, will provide capability to U.S. space operations to counter potential threats by near-peer adversaries. Ripsaw M5 Robotic Combat Vehicle design and features of the lightweight tank. Based on the design and technicalities of the EV-3F4, the unmanned ground vehicle is modified for combat applications. The Ripsaw EV-3F4 is one of the world's fastest dual-track vehicles serving the luxury segment customers. The exoskeleton of the M5 tank is a rigidly welded tubular structure based on a patented high-performance suspension. The Ripsaw M5 has a maximum gross weight of 3,855.54 kilograms and can carry payloads weighing up to 2,721.5 kilograms. The high modularity of the M5 means it is suitable for several applications. Its open and flat architecture enables the integration of different payloads for multiple combat applications. The vehicle integrates floors electronics and a turret for carrying weapon systems. It also comes fitted with high-intensity lighting systems. Israel Ministry of Defense to test drone packing advanced robotic tank. The Israeli Ministry of Defense plans to begin testing of a medium robotic combat vehicle, MRCV, next year. The vehicle unveiled last week at the Eurosatory Defense and Security Exhibition in Paris by Elbit Systems will act as an advanced technology demonstrator. With only 169,500 active personnel at any one time and having to operate in urban areas and rugged terrain, the Israeli Defense Forces obviously prefer to operate under a doctrine of minimizing its casualties whenever possible. As a result, Israel takes a very keen interest in defensive and robotic systems that eliminate the human element. AI-driven combat drone can search buildings and execute suicide attacks. Israeli defense tech company Elbit Systems has launched a lethal, autonomous suicide drone. The Lanius is an agile racing quad with a range of AI-powered scouting, mapping and target classification abilities, and the ability to explode when required. Quadcopter drones are becoming a staple of modern warfare, as exemplified in the current Ukraine conflict. It's easy to see why, they're cheap, easy to operate and getting smarter all the time. They let you see and map out a dangerous area with no risk to the pilot, they can often get around completely undetected by adversaries, and it's remarkably simple to attach and or release a lethal payload. The Lanius is designed to travel in groups of three, sitting on top of a larger, mothership-style drone until they're deployed. Its maximum takeoff weight is 1.25 kilograms, 2.76 pounds, including a lethal or non-lethal payload up to 150 g, 5.3 ounces. A small hobby-style lithium battery gives it a maximum flight time around 7 minutes. The mobile shield that will transform ground-based air defense. 
The battlefield is changing. With the advent of drones, unmanned aerial vehicles and other advanced weapons, airborne threats are diversifying all the time, and keeping ground units safe is harder than ever. Saab's Mobile Short Range Air Defense Shorad, system is a vehicle-integrated solution that can identify, counter, and neutralize air threats quickly, effectively, and decisively. The world's most modern and capable air defense system what we are offering here is the world's most modern and capable short-range sensor, combined with the world's most modern and capable ground-based air defense system. Emil Holm, Director of Technical Sales Support. What we are offering here is the world's most modern and capable short-range sensor, combined with the world's most modern and capable ground-based air defense system, explains Emil Holm, Director of Technical Sales Support for GBAD Missile Systems at Saab. Saab Sirius Compact Warfare Sensor Stays Stealthy, Locates Threats Saab has introduced a passive, lightweight, electronic warfare sensor called Sirius Compact, which is designed to act alone or in an array to locate incoming threats on a variety of tactical levels without revealing its presence. As digital technology develops, it's surprising how much of modern warfare is being increasingly waged on a silent, invisible level. During the Second World War, Britain defended itself from German bombers by spoofing the aircraft's electronic navigation beacons to send them off course. Ever since then, major military powers have been in an arms race of radar beams, sensors, jammers, spoofers, cyber weapons, and a bewildering array of electronic attack, defense, counterattack, and reconnaissance systems. As part of this, defense contractors have been coming up with sensors that are not only more sensitive to incoming electronic signals, but are also smaller, lighter, more efficient, and are able to operate without revealing themselves. DARPA moves to Phase 2 in Long Endurance Manta Ray Drone Program. DARPA has awarded Phase 2 contracts in its Manta Ray program, which aims to build a series of underwater drones capable of taking on long-range, long-endurance, autonomous ocean missions without any human support for charging, maintenance, or logistics. The two contractors chosen, Northrop Grumman Systems Corporation and Martin Defense Group, will each now build and present a full-size demonstration drone. The mission profile here presents an impressive challenge, these machines need to be incredibly self-sufficient in a difficult environment. They'll need to be able to stop and charge up their own batteries, presumably harvesting energy from subsea currents. They'll need to be able to sense, label and avoid all manner of obstacles to avoid getting snagged in seaweed, scratched up by rocks and coral or stuck in crevasses. Rainmetal main battle tank concept combines lethality and mobility. At the Eurository 2022 Defense and Security Exhibition in Paris, Rainmetal has revealed its next generation main battle tank concept, the KF 51 Panther, which combines relative lightweight and a smaller size with increased lethality. Based on the Cold War Air Leopard 2 main battle tank, the KF 51, KF stands for Kettenfarzug or Tracked Vehicle. Concept features a number of design innovations that Rainmetal says address the weaknesses of today's tanks. When NATO and the Warsaw Pact faced off against one another during the Cold War, the conventional war strategy was one of massed armored divisions pitted against one another in Central and Eastern Europe. The result was armies built around tanks weighing up to 80 tons that boasted heavy composite or reactive armor and large turret mounted guns. RAPID Fire Autonomous Air Defense Turret Can Take Down Drone Swarms To counter increasingly dangerous low-level, close-quarters surface and aerial threats, Nexter and Thales have unveiled the latest version of the RAPID Fire Autonomous Gun Turret at the Euronaval 2022 Naval Defense Exhibition in Paris. 
Ever since the first shield was constructed to ward off the first spear, military technology has been a constant arms race between offensive and defensive systems. Every new way to attack prompts the development of a new way to defend, and vice versa. Today, the emergence of asymmetric warfare often sees billion-dollar assets like warships facing cheap yet deadly threats like drones, small watercraft, floating mines, loitering munitions, as well as the higher-level threats like supersonic missiles and fighter-bombers. Eurosatory 2022 Brasa unveils armed variant of Natrix UGV. Latvia's Brasa Defense Systems unveiled a combat configuration of its Natrix unmanned ground vehicle, UGV, at Eurosatory 2022 in Paris. The Natrix was exhibited armed with an FN Herstal Defender Light Remote Weapon Station. Speaking to James Brasso representatives said that the system is expected to undergo live fire testing by the end of the year, and computer simulations have also been conducted. James understands that the idea for integrating the FN Herstal system onto the Natrix emerged during trials for Integrated Modular Unmanned Ground System IMUGS, the European Union's EU UGV program in September 2021. Basically, we went together there with Herstal, and the idea came into place a Brasa representative told Jane's. They added the Latvian army as FN Herstal weapons systems. Right now this is a merging process so the intent was to match together to see if it can fit and hold. The next step is to go through a testing phase about the stability. Lemur S for toughness and reliability. The Lemur S by Brink is a tough, dependable drone that has been designed for and tested by police departments throughout the U.S. Built to do more than just perform surveillance, the Lemur can breach windows, open two-way communication between officers and negotiators, deploy countermeasures, and much more. With the Brink Lemur S, public safety and military teams will be safe and informed in even the most dangerous scenarios. This package includes two Brink Lemur S aircraft, VR headsets, imaging systems, batteries, multiple payloads, and much more. Reliable Imaging The Lemur S has been designed to make the collection and sharing of information during dangerous situations easier and more reliable. The Lemur S uses cellular-based technology to enable two-way communication between the operator and personnel near the drone. An integrated 106 dB speaker at 1 meter allows for effective communication communicating with team members and suspects. Rafael unveils Sea Breaker Advanced Autonomous Long Range Missile System. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has disclosed the development of Sea Breaker, a new, fifth generation, autonomous, precision guided, long range missile system designed for precision engagement of emerging and next generation maritime and land threats, stationary or moving, at ranges out to 300 kilometers. Described by Rafael as a naval and artillery force multiplier, Sea Breaker is a day-night all-weather effector for use with naval platforms and shore-based launchers operating in what the company characterizes as the new battlefield, where precision accuracy and low collateral damage are required in a target environment protected by advanced electronic warfare, anti-access area denial, A2AD, and GPS GPSS jam and denial systems. Approximately 350 mm in diameter, less than 4 m in length, and weighing under 400 kg, the new missile is equipped with an advanced Rafael proprietary 107 kg penetrate, blast, and fragmentation warhead, which, the company says, is capable of neutralizing a frigate-sized ship in a single hit.